both actors when you were really young. Yeah. And your brothers. What made you like actually want to become actors at a young age? Um, well, I mean, I guess we kind of say like we started. My our dad came home with a video camera and we were like four years old and we started making home movies. I oh, mean, like, cool. You know, really getting together and like acting them out. And our dad would edit the whole thing and you know he put music to it. Like he would make. I mean, we would be like, oh, you guys wow. are the bad guys. We would sort of direct these little yeah. things. And my parents were just super supportive and like actually took the time to make them into little movies <laughs> but the thing and these films were like i mean this is old school what was this 82 yeah, 83 yeah. so it's like you, you had a separate pack that would hold the vhs yes. and oh, then the camera oh, was like yeah. right. which is awesome too because we look back at the footage and there's something about the quality it looks of that so like, cool. it's like <laughs> super <laughs> saturated just, like, we, we can't find we can find half the camera but we yeah. don't have the the second oh, bit. Yeah, the, yeah. The bit that I want to shoot yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I know exactly what you're talking about my yeah. dad had one of those yeah. yes. i always called it like a johnny five yes <laughs> don't it's got that yes Totally. It's just this huge, you know. Setup. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, your parents are so supportive. Like, I, oh, I, I wanted to be He Man growing up. Yeah, and, 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 and my dad just like locked me in the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> and turned off the light too. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, so, how did that transition into actually like becoming professionals? Did well, you take those VHSs to like an agent? And, like, look at me. No, I don't um, know. I like it I was really, plays. It was plays. I know, but what made the decision to do that the first? Time? I think I think what happened, we were always, you know, I think we were just like really hyperactive kids, you know? And so our parents <laughs> filled us with shit to do. Like, they were yeah. constantly, like, uh, music classes, gymnastics. gymnastics, and then, like, because we were constantly doing voices and running around with the camera and shit, they were like, all right, acting classes, too. So we started taking, like, just local acting classes yeah. at the community center. You know what? No, I bet you the first thing was the talent show that we did. Yeah, that's true. We went, we came to L.A., which is really funny. We kind of trace all this back, and we saw a talent show at the Universal Studios. It was a stunt show. At yeah, the Universal a stunt show Studios. where these guys and they're like cowboys and they're beating each other up and we were just like oh that was so awesome you know and then my yeah. I think my dad or my mom was like yeah well, what you do is you put a piece of paper under your shirt and then you like as you punch you slap and it, and it makes this great punch <laughs> sound <laughs> so we worked out this whole routine where we just beat the crap out of each other and, <laughs> and like that was we had rolls show. and falls and we did it at our school talent show and it became like this epic like <laughs> yeah, the word still spread. I still have a friend that like you know we were in like high school or like 19 and we're like you know drinking together and he's like dude i remember you and your brother beating the crap out of each other you know right. like, that was like the Dustin. 80s version of going viral exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Totally. but then it got to the point where it's like our you know we they would save us for last during the talent show so we'd always do something which uh, we did a, m a magic show one year we started getting into like really cheesy bad magic tricks which is why now our films, we call them the Strong Brothers Magic Show instead of a Strong Brothers film. Oh, because it's like, like, because we, we did this magic show and it's all on video, which is, awful. it's so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> but because of that, we started getting paid to do them for like birthday parties and stuff and like, Whoa. you know, 10 bucks or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. we were like, this is a job. And yeah, we like, absolutely. would hand out yeah, little badges long saying long. like, I believe in magic, Strong Brothers Magic Show. And like, you know, and we were just, we were just always doing Crap, you know, great. and then I think the first professional thing we because we were we did a couple plays locally, and a woman saw Shiloh in a play, and she called up my mom like tra tracked my mom down to the phone book and was like, um, my daughter is an actor. I'm bringing her down to San Francisco to audition for Les Misérables, and um, I think your son, meaning Shiloh, would be perfect for uh, the role of Gavroche. So my mom was like, oh, okay, well I have another son too. Why don't we all go down? So we all went down, lined up with like. 300 kids we were, like the first ones. we were the first ones in line at like 6 in the morning in San Francisco uh, and then I got the part and Shiloh got a call back and like that was the first like they were gonna pay you know I got paid like 800 bucks a week yeah, at 9 yeah. years old and I was doing uh, 8 performances a week I was doing 4 of the 8 because I would alternate with another kid yeah. and that was the first like professional gig and then because of that we got an agent and then everybody was like you know we both at the same time landed on TV shows at the same time. So That's he amazing. did two years on NBC yeah. on a show called The Mommies, which nobody Ooh. remembers. It was only last for two years. Yeah. But then Boy Meets World was happening yeah. and started at the same time. So our poor mother had to shuttle between two different sets. We had a manager and then our moms. We, right. had, yeah, we had to have, I think he was a legal guardian. You have to have a legal like, guardian on the really? set and you have to have a teacher. Yeah. You have to go to school four hours a day or three hours a day legally. And, you know, I mean, it was a real, yeah, it was like sort of our life. And you guys yeah. actually wanted to stay in the business. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe. It, we're sort of, it, you know, I think up until recently, we always had one foot sort of out of the business. Oh, wow. We both went to school 
you know, we both went and did yeah. other things, and like like aluminum siding. Kind yeah, of yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Good business. No, um, I mean, yeah. Ryder graduated, or you graduated from Boy Meets World. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, and then I moved to New York. Yeah, yeah. and then he went to Columbia, and right. so it's like you know that was as far removed from. The LA industry. And the industry yeah. Is yeah. What did you guys like, like major in in like college or? I was an English major in for the, uh, photography. Oh wow! Yeah, so now, now Dungeon Master, how is that your second short, third short? It was our second, second, second short. Yeah. Short. Cool. And had you guys both directed Irish Twins as well? Yeah. So you've already directed once together. You decided to do it again, so it must have gone okay the first time, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was funny the first time, because we were, we put ourselves in it, which, looking back on it now, we both agree it was probably a mistake, just because it ends up, well, it ended up looking like a, a vanity project of just us, you know, showing our acting abilities, you know? And it's like, we didn't want it to do that. We wanted to tell this story, and it happens that the two characters were brothers, and it was like we were shooting on 35 millimeter, and we were just like, okay, we can rehearse, we can get this down, we can just bust this out, and so yeah. it made sense at the time just to put ourselves in it. Um, but now, looking back, I think it would have been better not. And to what do we that. realized while like, we were on the set oh, was yeah, that <laughs> if one of us was in the scene or in the shot and the other wasn't, we would have more fun, like because the person <laughs> behind the camera was just like. All right, pressure's off me. I can just direct, you know. Yeah, and yeah. we and we talked about it afterwards. We're like, that was my, you know, we would be like, my favorite part was when you were on the camera and I was running around, back, you know, behind the scenes. And we were like, okay, we're not putting ourselves in anything anymore. Like, let's just direct together. And that's what Dungeon Master was so much fun. So it was much like, fun. yeah, you well, know, also just getting great actors. I mean, it's like yeah. in, in Dungeon Master, we just got such a great cast. Just for people that don't know, tell us just like a little brief synopsis of what Dungeon Master is. Uh, well, Dungeon Master is about these group of guys that are kind of hipsters, 30-somethings, so they're at a party, and they both kind of uh, realize that they uh, used to play Dungeons and Dragons when they were younger, you know, and like, so they kind of have this little like, geek out of the closet moment. So they say, hey, you know, we should, we should play, we should try and play again, but they can't remember the rules, and so they invite a friend of a friend to come and be their Dungeon Master who's going to, you know, control the game, and... Uh, so then the Dungeon Master shows up, and he's the real deal. He's in a cape. He's, you know, the geek, like the uber gamer guy. And that just goes all downhill no. from there. Yeah. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you look at me. <laughs> are you guys, are you guys D&D people? Are you guys, like, nerd nerds? Oh, okay, well, it's completely a true story. Like, it's based on an ex experience that we had. Are you, so there was, like, an, an actual dungeon master who, like, oh, yeah. lived in a cave. No, no it wasn't <laughs> that. Basement. No, it wasn't that. It was, but we did have a game. Like, we got together because we, we realized that this friend of ours who we had known for a while was like, I used to play D&D, &D, and we were like, we used to play D&D. &D. We're, like, we're cool now, we can do this, right? We yeah, can play D&D. We're adults. It's like fun. And so we like, got together, and we tried it, and like we couldn't remember the rules, and it was just taking too long. And like So then he was like, I got a guy. I know a guy. And then this guy came, and he didn't wear a cape or anything, but he was just like, you know. He was pretty intense. I've been yes. so long for a campaign. Yeah. And we were like, oh, great. great. Yeah. You know, and then he's like, just so into it and like really doing the voices, you know. Like, but I mean, a really, he's a really he's sweet the nicest guy. guy in the world. But the thing but is, we're I mean, sitting there like, oh god, you know, he's, doing, he's, he's totally doing. like, and then he leaves, and we're like, what was so wrong with that? Because he's a nice guy and he's playing the game correctly, and he's really into he's it. We're invested like, in it, right. you know. And that's like, when we're like, we're assholes. Like here we are, totally judging this guy when he's like having the most fun of his life, and we're like. Too all insecure. Cool. We're like, oh, no, we're so cool. We're playing it ironically. And it just, I don't know. It was just when we realized that we're like, there's, there's something a there. film there. Yeah, yeah we got to yeah. do something with that. You guys both wrote that. You both directed it. Yeah. You're writing together. Yeah. You're brothers. Yeah. yeah. Something about that seems really weird. A lot of, a lot of fighting. No. 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 Yeah. We, you guys best friends. You get to get together and play Nintendo still. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. That's actually FIFA. how we take our breaks. <laughs> yeah. Play FIFA. Okay. Let's <laughs> step away. Go to FIFA. Yeah, so like get whenever you, you, when you is that the, like the writing process? You're playing Nintendo. Like okay, no. And then he'll say like holy shit balls. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah that's that's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, we do a lot of outlining together. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of our our thing. Is I mean, that's what we've been working on. Uh, you know, working on Dungeon Master as a feature past couple weeks and just trying to figure out exactly how the story would come about and it's kind of you know if you try and sit down and just plow through it and you you know you hit your head against the wall so, so hard and then nothing happens you know, have to be kind of loose about it I mean I've discovered yeah. this past couple weeks we outline like crazy together Dungeon Master we actually wrote 
word for word together in yeah, the room. That's that cool. was like one of us at the keyboard, you know. But we usually only do that when we're rewriting. We actually yeah. split up to write scenes. Uh, otherwise, mm-hmm. you know. That's really. I I, I'm, I think that's amazing that you guys do that together and also direct together. Just because I have a brother, I know what it's like to work with my brother. I love my brother. I'm closer with him than anybody in the world. I could never work with them. Yeah, but we have like very similar tastes. Not identical tastes, but like, you know how, I don't know if Netflix still does this, but Netflix you can like see who you're, which one of your friends you're most compatible with in terms of movie taste. Oh, yeah, and like yeah, yeah. Shiloh and I were always like 99.999%. That's cool. It's like, Jesus. <laughs> that's really cool. um, uh, and that's not always, I mean, we definitely do like d- disagree on certain things and have our areas of expertise, but like, um, I think we also just were working together all the time as kids. Like, you yeah. know, part of, even though like we were acting and all this stuff, um, we would constantly be doing projects together, you know? And so I think it just was fostered at an early yeah, age. Been... Like, oh, we got to go do the show. Let's come up with something together, like the magic shows and all the crap that we see. It's been fostered kids. and built as you, since you were kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. yeah so it doesn't nice. feel, it, it actually would feel very foreign, I think, to direct by ourselves. If you have, uh, like, a bit of advice that you would give to, like, young uh, uh, molecular biologists yes. out there, <laughs> <laughs> what, what bit of advice would you give to them? We were like trying to make it in the molecular biology. In the biology field. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know if you're talking about actors or uh, filmmakers, but. Both. Uh, both. Both. And microbiologists. Don't be yeah. Micro, yeah, yeah. yeah. They do a lot of important stuff yeah. out there. I don't know. I mean, like, you know, there's all the traditional advice of, like, you know, go hacking class, whatever. But I, I just feel like, um, or film school, or whatever, but I feel like. Some, the thing that we've benefited from the most is like when you meet somebody who's talented like just latch on to them and like learn everything you can from them and like hang out with them and just get to know like you know don't stay within your comfort zone like push yourself to like get to know people that you think are more talented than you and like you know just see what you can get from them and you know whether it's just a great conversation or a good friendship or whatever but like you'll end up expanding your circle and challenging yourself you know trailer sort of captivating but when you see a trailer like that sometimes you can be like oh they gotta, it's a good trailer but is the movie gonna be good and the movie was great and the performances i mean you guys cast right and yeah. and you guys made it well and even like the effects at the end or makeup i should even say too it's like everything in it is perfect and it was so much fun to watch awesome. you know there's, there's, there's not just here oh. to kick your ass <laughs> or kiss your ass